everyone, it is Heather from Heather Travels. And for the rest of January, I'm gonna focus on cruising on my videos for my channel. And the reason I'm doing that is because January is traditionally the kickoff to wave season. What is wave season? Okay, for those of you who do not know, wave season is uh, typically January through March, and it's when most of the cruise lines really push some really great sales and promotions. Um, they know that, you know, Christmas is over, you're starting to think about where do you want to travel in that year, and they're hoping that they can entice you to cruising with some really good offers, deals, and sales. So in wave season, January, February, March, the cruise lines are all going to have really good sales and promotions and you can check all of their websites for this. Even like um, travel wholesalers like cruise.com or even if you look at like travel websites like Expedia and things like that, you should see these sales and promotions on those too. And they're going to vary by cruise line. But if you book your cruise for in those months, um, starting in January for those um, few months there, you should be able to get some really good deals on cruises. I would encourage you, if you're interested in taking a cruise here in 2020, or even in early 2021, uh, this would be a good time to start looking because um, booking your cruises now during wave season, you're sure to get some pretty good deals. And then along with this, I just wanted to kind of give you a little update to my personal cruise wish list. And you can look back at my previous cruise wish list that I posted it's got to be a year and a half ago now. Um, here's kind of my current cruise wish list. And I think when I did that one, I broke it down by cruise line, ships, and itineraries. Um, I watched a video um, recently. Tony and um, Lolita Loca um, was talking about how to choose a cruise. And one of the things he said that over time, uh, your criteria for how you choose a cruise will change. And I definitely think this is true. He said when they first started booking cruises, he and his wife uh, really focused on price, and which kind of goes along with what I was saying about wave season, but that when you're a new cruiser, you really kind of focus on getting the best deal possible or getting the lowest price possible. You're not really paying attention necessarily to some of the other factors that go into a cruise. But he said that as he's cruised more, now he definitely is looking more at the ship and the itinerary. And I think that's probably true for all of us who've gone on multiple cruises. Um, even my kids who've only been on a couple of cruises each are already like, you know, we've done the Bahamas, let's go someplace different. Can we try a different ship? Can we try a different cruise line? And I would definitely agree. Um, at this point, I really, there's, there's certain ships that I see that come out that I'm like, oh, I'd really like to try that ship. There's other cruise lines that I haven't been on yet that I'd really like to try that cruise line to see if it fits our personalities. And there's definitely a lot of other itineraries that I want to do that I have not done. And that probably is my main focus for my wish list is there are other places I want to cruise that I haven't cruised yet that I want to go on cruises. Actually, the majority of my overall travel wish list is cruises <laughs> and there's certain cruise itineraries and I'll get to that in a second. So I guess on cruise lines, there are some cruise lines that I definitely want to try. I would really like to try Viking. Um, Viking looks amazing. Um, both Cruise with Ben and David and uh, Jen LaForge have um, on her channel Joyful Living have recently gone on Viking cruises and they just, the ships, it looks amazing. However, Viking is very expensive. Like makes Disney look cheap. <laughs> okay. So, um, Viking is really expensive. So I don't know if that's something that I'll ever be able to afford to do. It's also more of an adult appeal. Um, I think in a little bit here, Jen told me that Vikings actually the minimum age is 12, but I'm not sure if she was right about that. That might be what it is for river cruising. I'm not sure. It might be 18 and older. Does anybody know what's the minimum age for Viking ocean cruises? Um, if it's 18, then obviously I can't, take my kids, well, until at least like Ben is 18 or at least one of them's 18. I guess I could go with Andrew right now, but it's not in the budget <laughs> anyway, but I'd really like to try Viking. Um, I would also really like to try Celebrity. Celebrity is one of the top cruise lines on my list. 
And then despite my reservations about Carnival Corporation because of their environmental record and stuff like that, I am still curious to try Carnival. Some of their new, newer ships uh, really appeal to me. I'm very cur curious to see um, Morgan from Very Unofficial Travel Guides is going on a Carnival cruise here. Um, I'm filming this uh, in December yet, and he's going, he's leaving on January 1st to go on a Carnival cruise and then a Disney cruise, and then, which I'm very curious about how he compares those, and because he hasn't been on either one yet, and then he's going to Disney World. And I'm really curious to see what he thinks of Carnival because I think. If he doesn't like it, I don't think I will either. Um, but if he does like it, that's going to make me more open to trying it possibly in the future. So I'm curious about that. I definitely would like to try Princess. And I would like to maybe try, I know this makes me sound old, but I would really like to try Holland America. I like that more traditional, um, elegant kind of cruise style. And so traditional dining, seating and all of that. So I actually think I might like Holland America. Um, and then I think that's probably about it. Like my top choices for wish list for cruise lines. Okay. Now ships, when I go back to my Disney that I love, I really want to go on all the Disney ships. So far I've been on the magic and the wonder twice. And I would, I have not been on the dream yet. And I've not been on the fantasy yet. So I would like to go on both of those. Um, Michael Kay made a really interesting observation when he was comparing the Disney Cruise Line ships to each other, and he actually ranked the Disney Dream last. And he did that for a very interesting reason, which I think I agree with him on. He said there's nothing wrong with the ship. The ship is beautiful, just like all the Disney ships are. He said he ranked it last because Disney Dream only does the shorter itineraries. They only do the three and four, and sometimes in the summer they'll throw in a five-day double dip to Castaway Key. But they never do more than a five day five night itinerary. And so he said, just because the cruise is shorter, once you go on those longer seven night cruises, you really don't want to go back to shorter stuff. And so I'm actually hanging out right now, trying to save and hold out for a longer Disney cruise. Because if you watched our video where the kids and I compared Royal Caribbean to Disney, I'll link it up here. Megan made the point, she said she would rather go on a longer Disney cruise because there's so much to do on Disney cruises that the three and four nights just aren't long enough to do everything you want to do. So, and I agree with her. So I'm really kind of holding out longer in our travel plan to do another Disney cruise until we can go on a five, six, or seven or longer night cruise. We had our eyes on a, it's a 14 night transatlantic from the UK back to New York City that Megan and I were like, oh, we would love to do that, but school. <laughs> so anyway, it, cause it's in the fall and you'd miss like two weeks of school, which would be terrible. But anyway, um, and then uh, there's two more, no, three more Disney Cruise Line ships coming out in the next few years. So we're gonna have to try all those. Um, I am kind of actually off wanting to try any of the mega ships. And by this, I mean like, the whole Oasis class on Royal Caribbean, I just don't think it's my cup of tea. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe I might try it someday, but I just don't like having being on a ship with that many people and that big of a ship. I prefer the smaller ones. And so that's that's a maybe. And then even like the Breakaway or the Breakaway Plus class on Norwegian, I'm not sure if those might not be too big for me too. So I don't know. Um, I am intrigued by the Mardi Gras, although I don't know if that, the Carnival Mardi Gras, I don't know if that roller coaster on a ship I did is amazing or insane. Uh, <laughs> but, um, and then like, there's certain ships among those cruise lines that I already mentioned that I would like to try that appeal to me. Uh, Sky Princess, I think looks beautiful. And so I've kind of got my eye on a cruise on either Sky Princess or Enchanted Princess, which is coming out next year, this this year, I think. Um, I think I really like the the lighter, brighter color scheme they went with inside. It just looks very fresh and pretty. I, I kind of like to try one of those. So that's a, kind of it for ships. And then for itineraries. Okay. There are some very specific cruise itineraries that I would really like to do. I still would really like to do something out of California. And just because I think cruising in the Pacific would be completely different and the, the scenery and everything is going to be different. I don't really have any interest in getting off the ship anywhere in Mexico. 
I know that they have to go to Mexico because of maritime law. They have to go to a foreign port before they can return to the U.S. But I still think it would be cool to see, even if I don't get off the ship. I'd love, love, love to go on a cruise that goes to San Francisco or leaves from San Francisco because I think it would be so cool to sail under the Golden Gate Bridge. And seeing the Golden Gate Bridge is one of Ben's top wish list things on his travel wish list. So that and the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> um, and then I would really like to cruise to Alaska. That is way up there. Um, I would really like to, I'd love to do an Australia, New Zealand cruise. And we have a video coming up where we play a game, which city. And so watch for that on my channel. Um, and Andrew mentions that Australia and New Zealand are really on the top of his travel wish list of someplace that he, Australia especially, he'd really like to go to Australia. So that would be really cool if I could do that with him someday, or even just go to Australia or New Zealand with him someday, I think would be awesome. He was very strongly considering Australia for one of his study abroads when he was in college, but didn't get to do that. So, um, and then going the other way to the other ocean, if you will, I would very much like to do a transatlantic crossing. That's really, I really want to do that. Um, I would also like to do anything Northern Europe. British Isles, Iceland and Greenland, uh, Scandinavian, the fjords, Norway, um, going up to the Arctic Circle, the Baltic Sea, any of that. I would love to do any and all of those cruises. I am very much a northern girl. I like the change of seasons. I like cooler weather. I like winter way better than summer. Um, I just think it's prettier. It's quieter. I don't like being hot. I hate bugs. <laughs> I I sunburn really easily, so being in the sun isn't really good for me because of my, my my coloring. And so um, I just, I'm much more of a northern girl. Any of those really appeal to me. And then I really want to do an uh, eastern Canada cruise, like out of New York or Boston and going up to like Nova Scotia and that whole thing, I really want to do one of those. So that's kind of my cruise wish list as it is to date. So um, I'd love to hear in the comments what cruises or cruise lines or ships are you guys really interested in and that you might be looking into sailing on if you're checking out the deals coming up here in wave season. Put them in the comments below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a second and subscribe. Just click on the red subscribe button. Click the little notification bell. If you want to get notified of all of my upcoming videos, I'm going to have some more cruise videos coming up here in January, and I'm going to be doing a live stream um, in January here about how to choose uh, the best cruise for you. So look forward to that. Please subscribe. Thanks very much for joining me today for this video. Um, and hey, check out another video um, after you watch this one on my channel. Safe travels, everyone.